There's a tool that's going to make you a ton of money if you can take advantage of it. It's super easy to use and I'll show you on this video. This is the tool that I'm talking about. It's called Outscraper and what it does, it can scrape, for example, from Google Maps, which is relevant information, real information of any niche that you are looking for. So for example, if you want to contact marketing companies because you want to offer them something that you have, like a service or a product, well, you're going to get a list of those clients with their name, the company name, their website, email, phone number, etc., all that information. So you can contact contact them and you can have a virtual assistant do it for you or your secretary or what, however you want to handle it. But it's easy and it's useful information. Now, right now there's a deal going on. It's a lifetime deal where you can take advantage. It's a limited time deal. And there's two of them available. It's the Google Maps Scraper. It's $89 for the lifetime deal. But if you have Google Plus exclusive from AppSumo, you get an extra discount, which is $69. Same limits, but you save on money. Plus there's an extra 10% discount because you're already a Plus member. I'll leave in the description the links to the deals and the Plus membership in case you guys want to join. Now, let me show you what those limits are. It's 5,000 businesses places from Google Maps a month. I mean, that's a whole lot of information. I don't think you'd have time to contact all of these unless you automate the system to send out emails. If you plan on calling, that's just a whole lot of numbers. 5,000 emails and social profiles a month, and you get all of this available, all right? So let's get into details with this. How does it actually work? Is it easy or not? Let me show you the Google services that it, that's available. There's a Maps, Maps Reviews, Maps by Website, etc. all of these. I'm going to show you one, my favorite one, which is Maps, because I know that these are real places and they're ready to go to start contacting them. Now, the first thing that you have to select is the category. For example, if you're looking for accountants, uh, accounting, lawyer, etc., we can add them there. Now, one of the tips I will give you is, for example, on categories. If you are searching for different countries, languages, I would suggest putting categories in those languages also. So, for example, in Spanish, if I would if I would search in Mexico, I would say, for example, abogado, which is lawyer. Okay. Well, it's plural. All right. So I would search for that. In this case, I can select the country that I want to search. In this case, I'll select Mexico. And it's going to add all the states in my case because it's the regions are by states. And I can remove them and I can just go as strict as, for example, a city. I'll choose Tijuana. Right. That's just a single city. And I just want the results from that city. I can select custom locations if I like, and then I can select the total results limits. So let's just say that I don't want a whole list of this. I just want 10. And for this video and purpose, I'll just select 10. Drop duplicates. Yes, of course, I don't want duplicates. Ignore without emails. And if my main purpose is to send out emails, well, I would select this and drop email duplicates also. In this case, I'll select emails and contact scraper. And I can do advanced parameters like the language. In this case, I've selected Spanish. Places per query search, 500. Columns returns, all if no selected. Other parameters, I want this in CSV. I can also have JSON, Parquet, or LX, LSX. And I can add tag these too. For example, if I want to tag it with uh, lawyer. All right, I'll just tag that there. I'll get the data. It's going to ask me if I want this so I can confirm. So yes, this is what I want. Search for those, and it's going to start the task. There we go. It started. Let's go into the task, task section and it's going to start the progress. So let's wait for this to finish so I can show you the results for the 10 results that I've asked for. There we go. It's done. Let me go ahead and download this. Download it. Open it. It's a CSV file. And boom, I just got this information. The name, the site, the type, subtype, the category, the phone number, the full address, Broad street, city, maps, etc. The email should be around here. Um, let's go check it out. A lot of information, a lot. There we go. Here's the emails. Just like that. So if I want to send out emails, here's a list. Now I can just grab the CSV, give it to my virtual assistant, to my secretary, and, and hey, take care of it. Or add this to my email marketing system and send out emails to this specific niche. So if I have a service specifically for them, and then I can send out the information or if I have products or whatever, I can offer it to them. So just like that, you would get the list for this. That, that was just for the Google Maps, which is my favorite part of this deal. Now I can also share this if I can grab the link. I already tested this with Amazon and I actually tested it with 
the Mexico Amazon. So it does work with that also. So if you share that link, this is what the end user is going to view. So they're able to download it. Let's go check it out. This is an Amazon test. Here's the name, the SN, the price, price parsed, the old price, etc. All the details are right here. So if you plan on doing something with Amazon where that information is relevant for you, well, you can take advantage of that. All you have to do is select Amazon service, products, or reviews. Just add the link and it'll scrape it. On Google services, there's all of these available like map reviews, map by website, contributors, etc. And you can do a whole lot with that. There's also the API usage if you want to automate this and there's integrations that they have like Zapier and HubSpot. I hope they add Pavly Connect, Integromat and other type of systems that will help us automate more. So that is available with the Google services. Like I mentioned before, I think it's a great service because it's super easy to use. It's relevant information because it comes from Google Maps. So it's not like that old data that it's not updated or anything like that. It's from Google Maps. So it's more relevant and more useful. Now that's the price that's going on right now for the lifetime deal. It's a limited time deal. So if you plan to consider grabbing it, that link will be provided in the description. And if you buy with that link, it will give you a small commission, but it's not going to cost you a single cent more than what it already says there. So it helps me out in that sense. Well, I thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys later.